Good afternoon, Trinity, and welcome to your Monday, April 20th, 2020 weekly update e-news from Trinity. I wanted to let you know that we are continuing to provide as much virtual church and ways to connect as possible here in this time of social distancing, and we have a couple of exciting updates for this coming week. The first is that this Sunday, April 26th, we are going to be hosting a virtual junior worship service at 10 a.m. on Zoom. You can find information about that and the link for that on the new Trinity Children and Youth Facebook page. If you haven't liked that and checked in on that, please make sure to do so. Um, Abe and Ashley will be providing a live virtual service at 10 a.m. and should be a lot of fun, so please come and check that out. If you have kids of all ages, are welcome to be a part of that service. We also are continuing our efforts with our mission program at the church, and we're trying now to find new ways to give to people in need in our community that have been affected by the coronavirus, either economically or health-wise. And we have a lot of people in our church that have been making masks. So please, if you have actually been making some masks, and we don't know about it because you're making it at home, um, in your quarantine or in your house, wherever you are, please send information to Jen Wilhelm at the office about that. Maybe even a picture of the mask that you've been making. We'd love to highlight that wonderful and very important ministry at this time. We also have some food drive gathering that we now have boxes out in front of the church where you can give food and canned items that are necessary for the families at Majutz that we have worked with for many years. Um, if you're interested in that, please bring the food to the church and drop it off in the front. Um, Marty Hurley and Reverend Diane are coordinating that project. So we're trying to do what we can to help people in need in this time. So that's the exciting things I wanted to let you all know. We're going to continue to do worship and we're going to try to find ways to make things as interesting and connected as possible in this time. Enjoy this e-news and... Until we see each other once again, please stay safe and stay distanced. Thank you.